Meghan Markle could already have an idea planned for a forthcoming podcast. Markle released the first episode of Archetypes on August the 23rd. Although episodes have been currently paused due to the mourning period following the Queen's death, royal expert Neil Sean has claimed the 41-year-old could be planning on focusing her upcoming episode around social media perception. Mr Sean claimed a good source has said Meghan believes all of the problems for Prince Harry and her are all down to the British media or indeed the mainstream media. He said the source explained after walking through the crowds Meghan realised people don't dislike her and it must be the media that are doing this. Mr Sean added, according to that good source this could become now the basis of a forthcoming podcast about the perception of the individual against how the mainstream media treats that individual. Do you see how nicely it's wrapped up? He added the bottom line is, Whichever thing she puts out, people will dissect it. The royal expert said, She'll have a point in this particular podcast. Obviously, if you live in a very small-minded world and you don't necessarily mix with the public, as Harry and Meghan haven't done now for the last couple of years, living in Montecito in the depths of California, you can understand exactly how they must think. Well, when they come out, we appear popular. According to Markle News 1 on Instagram, Megan has asked to push back for about six to eight weeks. She wants to re-record most of the upcoming content. Because she's disrespected the late Queen Elizabeth, King Charles and Catherine and William in the unreleased episodes, Spotify don't want to because it will cost them even more to record entire episodes. They want to be respectful to the Queen, but they're torn as the episodes they're sitting on are a goldmine for them. Both sides' legal teams are now heavily involved and Meghan Markle is desperate to get them stopped. Wouldn't it be lovely if Spotify forced publication of the original podcasts, which Meghan now desperately wants to postpone, edit or remove? Royal fans all hope Spotify will release it because it will officially end any chance for redemption. One royal fan said, Spotify would have to be the first class idiots to let her re-record. What skin is it off their nose if Meghan Markle trashes her own reputation by slamming the royal family? It will give them higher ratings and make her look like the snake she is. If I was Spotify, I wouldn't have even let her edit parts out. Martin Townsend, former editor of the Sunday Express and senior advisor partner at PR firm Pagefield, said Harry and Meghan Markle risk losing America if they continue royal attacks after Queen Elizabeth's death. He told, Charles is the king and therefore automatically commands much more support than he used to. That support has only increased because of the remarkable way he's led a nation in mourning. So if Harry and Meghan choose to attack all that now, they're going to look completely out of step. The trouble for the couple, however, is that they only seem to be able to gain publicity for their salvos against the royals. Once that stops, what have they got left? Reports suggest Harry's autobiography, written by Pulitzer Prize-winning author J.R. Moringer, has been canned entirely after the death of his grandmother. But the book containing intimate memoirs has already been submitted and approved by lawyers. Another insider, though told Telegraph, it's really hard to spend time with someone, or even speak openly, when you know they're writing a book about you and giving interviews. The trust is gone.